Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Audie. I'm one of the piano instructors at MusicWorks Northwest. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and keeping busy during the quarantine. While we're all stuck at home, I thought it might be fun to make a short video about one of the other more unusual keyboard instruments I play, which is the harpsichord. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the instrument first, and then I'll play something on it so you can hear what it sounds like. The harpsichord is a keyboard instrument which was invented long before the piano. It was very popular in what we call the Baroque period, the time of composers like J.S. Bach, Handel, and Telemann. The Baroque period ended around 1750 when the piano was getting more and more popular, and in the classical period of Mozart and Beethoven and Haydn, the piano really took over from the harpsichord as the most common and important keyboard instrument, besides the pipe organ. So if you're a piano student and you were working on a piece by Bach or Handel or another Baroque composer, it probably would have been played originally on an instrument similar to this one. There is also another keyboard instrument which was popular during this period called the clavichord, but maybe I'll talk about that another time. The most important difference between the harpsichord and the piano is that the piano strikes the strings with a little hammer, but the harpsichord plucks the strings with a small piece of bird quill, or in these days often plastic, and this gives it a very different sound. The keyboard on a harpsichord looks fairly similar to a piano keyboard, but there are a few differences. The keys are not usually as long or as wide as piano keys, and they're often different colors from the keys on a modern piano. On this harpsichord, the keys are made of different kinds of wood, and the keys which would be white keys on the piano, the naturals, are black on this keyboard, while the sharps and the flats are light brown. Other harpsichords often have sharps made from bone, so they have black naturals and white sharps, the opposite of the modern piano. You might think this would be very confusing, but in fact, you actually get used to it pretty quickly. Harpsichords also usually don't have as many keys as the modern piano because they don't go up as high in the treble or as low in the bass. A modern piano has 88 keys, a bit more than seven octaves, and it goes from a low A in the bass up to a high C. The largest harpsichords, like this one, have about 61 keys, or five octaves, and they go from a low F up to a high F, or sometimes up to a high G. This is also the same number of keys that were on pianos used by composers like Haydn and Mozart in the classical period. The harpsichord I'm playing today has only one keyboard, but you might see other harpsichords that have two keyboards stacked on top of each other. We call these double manual harpsichords, and they usually have more sets of strings, so they can make different combinations of sounds. And one keyboard is also usually louder than the other one, so you can change dynamics by moving your hands from one keyboard to the other. To finish this video today, I'm going to play you one of my favorite pieces, one which I think is very well suited to the harpsichord, the first movement of J.S. Bach's Partita No. 1 in B-flat major. This is the Preludium. So I hope you enjoy it, stay well, and if you have any questions about the harpsichord, you can leave a comment or come find me at MusicWorks when we reopen.